Well, it's been revealed staff from a New South Wales government department were warned not to travel to the northwest town of Moree over crime concerns. Now, at the same time, a government minister told a parliamentary hearing a push for an inquiry into regional crime was an opposition scare campaign. New South Wales political reporter Julia Bradley is in Moree for us this morning. Um, Julia, good morning to you. When was this warning issued? Well, Holly, this incident alert was put out by the Department of Climate Change, Energy, the Environment and Water on the 14th of February at a time when Moree was dealing with the spike in youth crime issues. Staff at that department were being told not to travel to Moree and surrounding areas unless business critical. If they were to stay here overnight, they must stay in a hotel with high security. Now, the Daily Telegraph is reporting that this followed two break-ins at hotels where public sector staff were staying. And why this story is interesting is because at the same time, the New South Wales Police Minister, Yasmin Catley, and the Regional Minister, Tara Moriarty, were facing budget estimates. Asked about the youth crime issue in Moree, Tara Moriarty suggested that this push for a parliamentary inquiry into regional crime was an opposition scare campaign. I'm now joined by the local MP for the Northern Tablelands, Adam Marshall, who represents the Nationals. Adam, what do you make of this story? Um, well, very disappointing, actually. And uh, I think, on behalf of the community, pretty disrespectful. I mean, if the department was actually genuinely concerned about um, the, uh, the welfare and safety of its staff, all they had to do was pick up the phone and talk to the local police, the local council or myself, because the individuals who committed those offences, and we all know in the community who they are, their names, we all saw the footage, those people were rounded up by the police within 24 hours, put before the courts and removed from the community. And the police did some really good work there. So that, that initial threat was, was removed. Um, and this is the sort of knee-jerk reaction stuff that we really don't need uh, when it comes to tackling this issue. And it's very unfortunate. And I would hope that the department has re now retracted that. That's certainly something I'll be raising with the Premier today, and I know the Mayor will as well, uh, because th that serves no purpose. It just further entrenches this view that, that, that there's some threat to people's safety here. And we do have some significant issues. There is no doubt and there's no hiding from that. But certainly putting out memos like that doesn't help the situation. Indeed, it, it really only serves to make the situation worse. And I think if they'd actually picked up the phone, they probably would have not put that memo out. The Minns government is putting a lot of time and effort into trying to tackle youth crime in Moree. There's been a lot of investment announced. What do you think of the government's approach and what more support is needed? Yeah, I've been on the record. I'm incredibly supportive and appreciative of not just the government's approach, but the Premier's personal involvement. Mm. Um, I've been around politics for two decades now. It's very rare that you see a leader of a government, regardless of political stripe, actually take such a strong personal interest in one particular community. And, and he's been willing to work with, with me across the political aisle, the local council and the community. And the fact that he's back again so quickly uh, is, is a real positive. And, and I think the, the message and the reason we want to talk to the Premier today is, is now that we've had the, the announcements of that, that uh, suite of initiatives for our community, mm. now we need to work on the detail and the delivery to make sure that we, the community starts to see some of those very exciting things and positive things happen now as quickly as possible. Thank you for your time, Adam.